Good morning traders, I'm Juan Maldonado from the Elliott Wave Street and it's a pleasure to share some of our wave counts with you on this weekly video. So welcome, please read our disclaimer on ElliottWaveStreet.com and let's start with the euro. The euro is in a corrective wave, it's on the upper side of the corrective wave, so I would like to, to wait for a completion of this thing. Also, there is an alternative of a triangle where we will have an A, B, C, D, and E. But I would like to have this leg down. Listen, not to sell. I'm not planning to sell. I'm planning to buy the euro. Why? Because the price is going up. Makes sense, right? So once we have the completion of the corrective, I'm going to start buying the euro. Not yet. But let me show you something that is more ready. I think the New Zealand dollar has completed its corrective wave. So today in the morning, I bought the New Zealand dollar at the 30 area, just uh, 10 pips from price. And I leave a 30 pip stop loss. I leave my stop loss at the 65. So below this pivot, I leave there my stop loss. And I bought the, um, the New Zealand dollar at the 65.30, right? So it's, it's almost the, the current price. And my target for the week is the previous high, the 67. So this is what I risk. And this is what I look for. Okay, now we're talking, right? That's one of my favorites for this week. Finding the end of the corrective, the trend is going up and the corrective is signaling that it's done. It is true that the price can make a lower low here, right? That's possible. So that's why I leave my stop loss a little bit lower, but I don't want to see the price coming below this, this, this support. And if, if this is the end, as I'm thinking, then the price is going to start the bullish move to the previous high. So I'm seeing a good opportunity to follow the New Zealand dollar always with a small risk in our trades and good profits. So it's a formula. I think that that's the, the best magic, magic formula that we can follow. And is small losses, big winners. Cut quickly your losses. Uh, your losers and keep your winners active. That's the best thing we can do in order to be successful in this business, right? And with Elliott Wave, it's a tool that when you add it to your charts or when, when you learn it or when you watch our analysis, you are going to change your trading forever. And, and the good thing is that the Elliott Wave is friendly with any technique. All right, let's have a look at the S&P. The S&P, I, I like to, 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 see, to check the weekly chart. Uh, I'm planning this week to record a special video uh, talking about the S&P, like uh, sharing with you my, my trading journey on the S&P since, since the, the beginning of the pandemic and everything to tell you what I did. I have been making some good money on the S&P. But anyway, let's talk about the actual price and the forecast for the week. And uh, later uh, during this week, I, 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 will, I will post uh, a video for you with uh, showing what I did on the S&P, right? All right, traders. So here we are. We are seeing the price on the S&P going up. I have been bullish from here before I was bearish and I was wrong, but from here I have been capturing a lot of a lot of points. We are getting closer to the high. This is the index, not the the e mini. The e mini is ten points below. So on the high of the before the pandemic, we have the high at the thirty three ninety eight, and last week high went to the 33.88 and this way high, high is at the 33.86. So last week we were 12 points below the previous high, right? Of the, 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 the 400 area. All right. So what is going to happen next? 
Mm, that's the question, right? Are we going higher? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We, I, I see the S&P coming to the 3,700 area. And you can see this leg down that maybe is not going to happen, right? Maybe the S&P will, will just go here, for example, if, it, we, if we are lucky enough to have a retrace in the future. But maybe this leg down is not going to happen. What is going to happen is that the S&P is going to continue higher. But let's go to the insights. Let's see how this is likely to happen. Let's go to the lower time frames. All right. So here on the four hour chart for this week, I'm looking for a hard high. I'm, I'm looking I'm looking for a hit above the 3,400 area. And once we are there, of course, big guys are going to take the profits. Don't you agree? If you are long from the low, from the weekly low, when we have that crash at the beginning of the pandemic, um, you're going to take some profits at the 3,400. Don't you agree? Then maybe you can buy again if you're a big guy. All right. So I'm thinking that under an ideal world, we should have a leg down to this area, to the previous wave one, because I'm seeing this as a diagonal wave. 3,300. So the question is, if the price comes up here, uh, should we sell? Or, uh, or, or do you think I'm going to sell the S&P because the price goes here? No, never. No sell. No sell. So what I'm going to do, my personal strategy, that you can follow my personal strategy every day if you sign up for the membership on Elite Wave Street, is to wait for the retrace, you know, wait for the Black Friday. Let's say that you are waiting for the Black Friday to buy a TV, that you want to buy the TV or you want to buy a new computer and you want, and let's say we are a couple of weeks away from the Black Friday and you want to wait to see if that TV or that PC that you want to buy is going to be in discount, right? So you are not going to buy the TV today because, or, or you are not going to, to to try to make a bet because it, to see if the if TVs are going down on that date or not, you know, is not the way, the right way to use this information. For for now, I'm scalping, I'm, I'm day trading long. If I see the sell off, if it happens, because not necessarily is going to happen, but if it happens, I'm going to wait for it and I'm going to buy. That's my strategy. That will be a gift from the market. Never in this life to sell the S&P. I think that's a huge mistake. There is an alternative a scenario, and is that once the price reaches resistance, what if the big guys continue buying and buying and pressuring the, the price to the upside? So if you sell, that's a huge mistake. So what I'm saying with this scenario is that that will be an ideal buy. Never sell. And if the alternative scenario happens, let's say that we have a lot of momentum, green candles happening here, well, I'm going to continue scalping to the upside. That's it. Or day trading. Or swing trading if we have a deeper retrace. All right. So that's my strategy. Completely bullish. If we have a nice discount, I will find the end of the move in order to jump into the trend and participate in the leg up. All right, traders, would you like to receive this daily analysis every day, a deep analysis on the S&P and other instruments? Please visit ElliotWaverStreet.com. Hit the membership tab. I also have individual stocks. Under the membership tab, you will find our Forex plan, our stocks plan, and the full access. You can have a first month trial for just $19, then $75 per month, automatic recurring payments. You can cancel by sending a, a, an email and you will have access to this great world of Elliot Wave. You will have the Elliot Wave analysis with my comments, with my charts, with my trades every day. So go now to ElliotWaveStreet.com and start using Elliot Wave from the first day. Please have a great week. Of course, I wish you the best. Make some good money. 
take care and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye